Howdy folks, Bones here, and we are back with Outward. Just uh, left the city of Sierzo right here, and we're on our way back to the marsh so we can start getting quests from the Holy Mission. Because it's been a few days now at least, so they should have some missions available for, to us. And now that we have magic, we don't really have a reason to stay here right now. And it is now morning. I uh, managed to sleep in the inn for a little bit, so we got to recover our health at least, and stamina. Hopefully we'll be able to survive the cold, but it looks like, uh, I think winter's letting up, it seems like. And, uh, yeah, I don't see the temperature bar or anything, so... Oh, a dead hyena. Sure, I'll take it. So, yeah. We're just going to be heading to the marsh again, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Sounds good. Yeah, look at that. The snow's all melted, and I think it's uh, spring again. I'm not really sure what how I can tell what season it is, but I assume it's spring. Looks like it. But that's cool. So now we won't have to freeze to death <laughs> so much. Because that was a huge problem for us, uh, traveling back and forth. Hmm. Anyway, we're, uh, I think, yeah, we're pretty close to the mountain there. Then we can head up to the marsh. Wow. For almost forgot how it looks with the, uh, just the purple around here. Because, you know, with the snow, it's just everything is white, but you got all these colors and stuff. That's, that looks nice. That's very cool. Oof. Probably get some really nice screenshots here. There we go. Can see the uh, exit over there. I got some more bandits here. Let's see if we can equip some more arrows. There we go. There we go. Well, that's one. Oh boy. There's one. Probably need to make some more uh, bandages as well. I used quite a bit. Yeah. I think we're just about there. I don't think I've actually gone over there yet, but uh, that seems pretty dangerous. Let's see. Must be that fort uh, thing up there. Might have some pretty good stuff. But I think I might want to get some better gear first. Just in case. Okay, we are back in the marsh. Uh, we made it here in pretty much one piece, so I'm happy about that. You know, one thing I've noticed is along the roads, I really haven't encountered anyone friendly. Like, it's been nothing but, like, um, hostile wildlife and bandits. Other than that, it's 
Yeah. Haven't come across any patrols or guards or anything else. So I wonder if that's even a thing. Haven't across any other travelers or traders or even other other travelers. But uh, maybe that's intended. Maybe you do that to uh, not make things easy on you or something. I don't know. I mean, in a world like this, you'd think there'd be lots of other travelers like myself. But, um... Who knows? Maybe I'll find some people later. That'd be cool. It'd be cool if you could have some more AI companions in here. I mean, I'd... I'd I play co-op, but I don't really have any other uh, uh, friends that want to play outward or that have it. It does have, uh, what's that called? Not cross-play, but the, uh, the where you can invite your friends to play and they don't have to own the game. So that's actually, that's a really cool feature that they add, that Steam added. But even still, no one wants to play with me. So, it's just me. It's just me, I'm all alone. But that's how it always is. Well, we should approach uh, Monsoon soon. Monsoon soon. And then we'll uh, get some, get our uh, quests from there. So, that'll be good. Oh, who are these fools? They uh, look pretty geared. Um... This is, I'm still on the Pilgrim's Path, but, um, they don't look friendly. And from my experience, everything out here wants to kill you, so I could probably sneak past them. I'm not sure if I want to risk fighting these guys. Might not have a choice, though. Either I could try to get past the gate and they chase me, or I can... Use the advantage of stealth and at least get a couple shots in before they start chasing. It looks like one's an archer, so he should be fairly uh, easy to take out first. Okay, looks like they're moving away from the gate. <sighs> Crap, we'll do it. Oh shoot. Oh boy. Yeah, that's to be expected, but uh, it was a valiant effort. Shields are pretty OP. At least when enemies have it. <laughs> Let's see where I get taken. Oh, Monsoon. Well, I guess that works in our favor then. Okay. Well, I think first order of business I should probably get to an inn. Yeah. We are damaged. Okay, so yeah, still got all our silver and stuff, so that's good. Here we are, back in Monsoon. So, let's uh, rest up, and then we'll go to that main quest giver lady. I forget her name. I'll remember it soon. Alright, got some rest at the end, sold some stuff, and now my inventory is a lot, a lot clearer now in terms of weight, so... That's good. And uh, I found this house seller here, and I want, want to check this out. Something on your mind? In search of a new home? Look no more. This one is a bargain. How can I help you? Yes, I am interested. 500, huh? Moment. Bargain. What? What was that? Well, I actually almost have enough. I've got 435 right now. I think that would be a good investment so I don't have to keep buying a room at the inn. 
and I can actually store stuff. Hopefully I don't have to pay rent, because uh, that would suck. So yeah, I think if we could get that this episode, that would be that would be great. That'd be awesome. No, I think uh, uh, the quest giver's name is Eleonora. Yeah. So let's let's go to her and see what she has for us. All right, here she is. Orion needs you. Blessing of blessings of a lot upon you, Boboro. It is time for your first mission. Oh, before you go, however. I need you to understand the length we go to protect Arai from the Scourge. Have you ever seen one of the visuals before? Those are the giant crystal tower things, right? The ones that protect us from the Scourge? Here's what you need to know. Yes, exactly. There's one not far from Monsoon. I want you to go there and burn a greasy fern at the altar atop the hill beside it. Beneath, be beneath it in, and then tell me what you see there. Only then will you be ready for your first mission. Elat, watch over you. If you don't have any greasy fern with you, the alchemist should have some for sale. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, okay. So, greasy fern, that's very specific. Not just a regular fern, it's gotta be greasy. Is there something you need? Yes. Chakram. I really want to learn how to use chakrams. This sounds really cool. Um, let's see. Blood mushroom, alchemy kit. Ah, here we are. We just need one. Really? 30 for just one? Eesh. Spendy. Alright, let's get to it. So they said there's one near Monsoon. So, hopefully we won't have to go too far, or at least run into too much trouble. Like those bandits. Let's see, do I have any more arrows? Yeah, just the 11, it looks like. Adventure awaits once again. Now, I assume those things, those green towers are what they're talking about. They're called, they're, uh, bleh, sorry, words. They're called vigil pylons. And, uh, I think she was talking about, uh, visiting the vigils. So, that has to be it. Almost looks like it, it's a heart, almost. Like there's a heart inside the crystal. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh. oh, wow. I actually did pretty good there. <laughs> Great hammer. That probably will sell for quite a bit. Steel shield? Yeah. Let's see. 40. Ooh. Yeah, that hammer is probably weighs a lot. Okay, let's see. Let's see, uh, eat some stuff just to get rid of some extra weight. And the shield as well. Maybe I should go back and sell this stuff, but... Uh, let's just keep going. Alright, fought a bunch more bandits there. <laughs> and I actually won. That's the surprising part. Oh, wow. Oh, man, so much good stuff, but I don't have enough room for all of it. Okay. So I wonder if we have to climb up there. Because they said there was an, like some sort of altar beneath it. Oh, we're so slow. I gotta drop something, man. <sighs> pickaxe. I really don't want to get rid of my pickaxe, though. The rusted sword. I still don't know what to do with this. But uh, I have a feeling it's going to be important later. I don't know. So, uh, oh gosh. 
arrows. Well, the arrows aren't that much weight, actually. I had... I gotta drop something. I'll just drop the pickaxe for now. I can always come back and pick this stuff up. At least I, I think I can. Yeah. So let's go climb up the stairs here and see what this is all about. These are pretty advanced structures. It's like a uh, industrial age stuff. It's like near Atomino almost. Okay. So maybe we put the fern in here. Iron Claymore. Why do they do this to me? Oh my gosh. So much stuff. I, I want it. I want it. I wonder, I think my axe actually does more damage, but the claymore might be faster. <gasps> Why do they do this to me? So I'm at the vigil pylon, but uh, let's see, what does it say? Burn. Greasy fern at the altar on the hill just west of the marsh's vig vigil. Such plants can be found not far from the... Oh, so it's near the uh, vigil, but not like on it or anything. And they said west, so this over here somewhere. Okay. Gosh, it just kills me inside to leave all that stuff, but it'll be there when I come back, I I hope. Now let's go find this altar. Oh my gosh, I'm being chased by these raptor things, uh, armadillos, I have no idea. I'm so fast. Oh shoot, I'm only one hit left. Oh no, the bandits are back! Here, maybe I could lead them into the bandits. Here, take them! Oh shoot, that's a mage! Well, okay, looks like the animals don't care about them, they just, they want me. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and resupply, sell some stuff, and then look for the altar again. Man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta make it to the boat. <laughs> Quick. Quick. Shoot. These things that don't have, like, a... <laughs> Their aggro doesn't stop. Quick. Quick. Some might call me a coward. I'm just a survivor. Ow. Alright. Let's uh, sell our stuff, resupply, and then get back out there. You know, uh, I thought the Warhammer would sell for a lot, but the shields actually actually sell for a lot more. So instead of collecting the, uh, uh, the giant hammers and stuff, I should be collecting the shields. They're actually... Uh, they actually weigh less as well, so I think it would be a lot better to just pick up the shields rather than the uh, heavy weapons Or just the weapons in general because for some reason the weapons don't really sell for much. I Mean this dagger sells for a lot, but like the uh, swords and the uh, Axes and things like that don't actually sell for a lot Which is surprising to me So let's rest up a little bit Oh, hello, my old friend. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, we all know. What happened? What happened? <laughs> I guess we maybe we bled out or something. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh, we're messed up. We just rested up too. Oh, this game's so brutal. Okay, now for real, we're going. I wonder if I can actually get that. I don't know. I'm not really sure what killed me, so I don't really want to risk it at the moment. But uh, I guess our uh, hunt for the altar continues. Let's, let's take a look at the journal again. There's such plants can be not far from the altar robot. Okay, on the altar, at the altar on the hill just west of the vigil. But how far west, I wonder? Oh no, not another one of those things. Just leave me alone. Oh, gosh. I'm just gonna have to go around, I guess. I mean, I don't exactly mind fighting, but he just takes all of my health, and then I have to rest again. Okay, let's uh, sneak a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can pick up that shield that that one guy dropped, because they sell for 30 silver a piece. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, looks like that mage is still there with his buddy. Let's, uh. Oh, okay. Do you have those equipped? Let's equip our axe and just... Oh, boy. Ooh. That almost got us. Alright, let's uh, retreat temporarily and heal up. Um, I don't think we have enough to craft any medkits. So... kind of my bad. I um, did not dodge properly. I was stuck on crouch. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, let's just leave that one guy there and let's head off to find that altar. Okay, I'm at this tower, which is to the west, but um, I don't think this is the altar. Pretty cool. I don't see an entrance anywhere though, which is quite strange. So, I wonder what the purpose of this place is. Well, the next place is that over there, which is the only place west from the um, Vigil Tower that I could think of. So, I guess we'll head over there. I did find another fern from that tower. There's a hollow tree trunk. That we found some stuff in. So, yeah, let's go over there. Hopefully there's no enemies or some, anything. Because I'm just, I'm one hit and I'm down. I wasn't able to make any bandages or anything. I ran out of cloth. So, it's just up to fate now. Oh, so this is the giant's village. Okay, so this is definitely not the altar. Huh. Well, in that case, I don't, I don't know where to go. What do they mean by altar? That's such a vague term. Like, anything here could be an altar. <sighs> well, 
Let's, let's keep searching. I mean, those blocks could be an altar for all I know. I don't know. This could be an altar. How do I even burn it anyways? Do I just... Would it just give me an option or something? Oh, boy. Let's keep looking. Oh, well, I, uh... Found the altar. That was very misleading. It says... It mentions west of the marsh's vigil but uh this is this is east like right next to it to the east so uh, okay that confused me it took me a while but i finally got here and it looks like allel is here as well so i wonder what she's doing here good to see you oh hi i guess it's only natural they send you here too what are you doing here allel i just wanted to come back here before leaving for my first mission. Eleanor told you to burn greasy fern here too, didn't she? Tell me what you see. Alright, I'm about to go on a weed trip, so let's do this. Kinda wish I could get rid of these fireflies, they're kind of annoying. As you breathe in the aroma of the greasy fern, the memories of the buried ancestors floods your mind with vicious images. You see an army of warriors fighting a massive scourge beast with spears. They are nearly wiped out before one of them man manages to cripple the beast. A ray of light falls from the sky and engulfs the monster, and it is trapped within shining crystal, surrounded by the dozens of people it killed. As the memories fade and you return to your senses, you look up at the visual crystal and briefly s and briefly see a swarm of ghosts trapped within the crystal with the scourge beast, endlessly stabbing it with their ghostly weapons. You sense agony rippling from the crystal. The scourge beast within is still alive, endlessly tortured by the spirits of those it killed. The monster is pain, a warning to keep other scourge beasts far, far away from Monsoon. Did you see it? Those poor spirits. They'll never rest in peace. That's horrifying. No wonder the Scourge don't go anywhere near the vigils. Let's just do one. I knew Elat wasn't the final answer to our existence. But seeing this... What is Elat? You're having doubts about joining the Holy Mission. Aren't you? After seeing this? Hmm, well it is, a, it's an effective scourge repellent, that's for sure. <laughs> so it's not just me. I know a lot isn't the answer to everything, but when I pledged myself to him, I believed he truly wanted nothing more than to protect others. Now I'm not so sure. This does protect us, though. It keeps the Scourge Beasts away from us. Mm, well, you should never blindly trust anybody, but, uh... Hmm... At what price? There must be a better way. I wonder. Either way, the fact remains that we need to destroy the Scourge once and for all. These poor soul spirits deserve to finally rest in peace. Farewell, my friend. I'm off. Eleanor gave me a test for reform, and I intend to see th that it's carried out. I'll be seeing you, Boboro. Hmm, I wonder what task she has. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty terrible, terrible, but I guess it's more terrifying for the Scourge Beast. He's just getting endlessly stabbed. At least the other spirits are, like, not getting stabbed. They're just fighting eternally. But, I mean, couldn't he just, couldn't a lot just, like, replace the spirits every once in a while and release the other ones? Like, uh, people can volunteer to become the deterrent after they die. I mean, that would make sense, right? I don't know. 
And anyway, let's go back to Eleonora for our first task, I suppose. Dang it, I can't get rid of these fireflies. Even sleeping didn't help any. <laughs> go away! Okay, anyway, before I turn in the quest uh, to Eleonora, I want to buy the house. I just managed to sell those shields, and I got enough silver, so let's Something do. on your mind. How can I help you? Deal. All right. Nice. Welcome to your new home, my friend. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I hope this is our permanent home, because I, I don't want to do, like, payments and stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. Is this... What is this? Oh, it's just a thing. Alright, we got a cooking station here. Here's our stash. So we can finally uh, store our things that we don't need with uh, with us. So that's fantastic. So yeah. Wow. And store some of this stuff. And let's just put some silver in here, just in case. Tiny aquamarine. Actually, let's take that with us. We could sell that. And so here, have, here we have novice robe and dark rich attire. Um, let's see. It doesn't have as much resistance. Uh, physical resistance I don't think but it does have magic and fire resistance <laughs> so that's good let's explore a little bit more here little kitchen area nice and monsoon streets huh I wonder if there's a, there's a tower or something See, where's the bedroom? Cool, what's what's this? An alchemy kit. And here is our bed. With some potions here. Very cool. Another bed over there. Okay, I do actually want to see what's up here real quick. Ah, I was right. It's a little tower, a little balcony thing here. Oh wow, and a little garden. <laughs> That's nice. And you can kind of see the outer walls there. That's pretty cool. Well anyway, I think this is where I'm going to pause it for now this episode. But um... Yeah, this was this was pretty fun. It was kind of frustrating uh, f figuring out where the altar was, but uh, we figured it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bones out. <laughs>